Lucas, Luke chapter 1. Since many have indeed taken in hand to set in order an account of the matters completely confirmed among us, as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and servants of the word delivered them to us, it seemed good to me as well, having followed up all these matters exactly from the beginning, to write to you an orderly account, most excellent Theophilus, that you might know the certainty of the words which you were taught. There was in the days of Herodias, a sovereign of Yehuda, a certain priest named Zechariah, of the division of Abiah, and his wife was of the daughters of Aharon, and her name was Elisheba. And they were both righteous before Elohim, blamelessly walking in all the commands and righteousnesses of Yah. And they had no child, because Elisheba was barren, and both were advanced in years. And it came to be that while he was serving as priest before Elohim in the order of his division, according to the institute of the priesthood, he was chosen by lot to burn incense when he went into the dwelling place of Yah. And the entire crowd of people was praying outside at the hour of incense. And the messenger of Yah appeared to him standing on the right side of the slaughter place of incense. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him. But the messenger said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elisheba shall bear you a son, and you shall call his name Yohanan, and you shall have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth, for he shall be great before Yah, and shall drink no wine and strong drink at all, and he shall be filled with the set-apart spirit, even from his mother's womb. And he shall turn many of the children of Israel to Yah their Elohim. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Eliyahu to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the insight of the righteous to make ready a people prepared for Yah. And Zechariah said to the messenger, By what shall I know this? For I am old and my wife advanced in years. And the messenger answering said to him, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of Elohim, and was sent to speak to you and announce to you this good news. And see, you shall be silent and unable to speak until the day this takes place, because you did not believe my words, which shall be filled in their appointed times. And the people waited for Zechariah and marveled at his delay in the dwelling place. And when he came out, he was unable to speak to them. And they recognized that he had seen a vision in the dwelling place, for he was beckoning to them and remained dumb. And it came to be, as soon as the days of his service were completed, he went away to his house. And after those days his wife Elisheba conceived, and she hid herself five months, saying, Yah has done this for me in the days when he looked upon me to take away my reproach among men. And in the sixth month, the messenger Gabriel was sent by Elohim to a city of Galil named Nazareth, to a maiden engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the maiden's name was Miriam. And the messenger said to her, coming to her, said, Greetings, favored one, the master is with you. Blessed are you among women. And she was greatly disturbed at his word and wondered what kind of greeting this was. And the messenger said to her, do not be afraid, Miriam, for you have found favor with Elohim. And see, you shall conceive in your womb, and shall have give birth to a son, and shall call his name Yeshua. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Most High. And Yah Elohim shall give him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Yaakov forever, and there shall be no end to his reign. And Miriam said to the messenger, how shall this be, since I do not know a man? And the messenger answering said to her, The set-apart spirit shall come upon you, and the power of the Most High shall overshadow you. And for that reason, the set-apart one born of you shall be called Son of Elohim. And see, Elisheba, your relative, she has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month to her who was called barren, because with Elohim no matter shall be impossible. And Miriam said, Let the female servant see the female servant of Yah, let it be to me according to your word. And the messenger went away from her. 
And Miriam rose in those days and went into the hill country with haste to a city of Yehuda, and entered into the house of Zechariah and greeted Elisheba. And it came to be when Elisheba heard the greeting of Miriam that the baby leaped in her womb, and Elisheba was filled with the set-apart spirit, and called out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And who am I that the mother of my master should come to me? For look, when the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who believed, for that which Yah has done to her shall be accomplished. And Miriam said, My being makes Yah great, and my spirit has rejoiced in Elohim my Savior, because he looked on the humiliation of his female servant. For look, from now on all generations shall call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done wonders for me, and set apart is his name. And his compassion is from generation to generation, to those who fear him. He did mightily with his arm. He scattered the proud in the thought of their hearts. He brought down rulers from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good items, and the rich he has sent away empty. He sustained Israel, his servant, in remembrance of his compassion. As he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. And Miriam stayed with her about three months and returned to her home. And the time was filled for Elisheva to give birth, and she bore a son. And her neighbors and relatives heard how Yah had shown great compassion to her, and they rejoiced with her. And it came to be on the eighth day that they came to circumcise the child, and they were calling him by the name of his father, Zechariah. And his mother, answering, said, Not so, but he shall be called Yohanan. And they said to her, There is no one among your relatives who is called by this name. And they mentioned to his father, then they mentioned to his father, what he would like to be like him to be called and having asked for a writing tablet he wrote saying Yohanan is his name and they all marveled and at once his mouth was opened and his tongue loosed and he was speaking praising Elohim and fear came on all those dwelling around them and all these matters were spoken of in all the hill country of Yehuda and all who heard them kept them in their hearts saying what then shall this child be and the hand of Yah was with him. And Zechariah his father was filled with the set-apart spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed be Yah Elohim of Israel, for he did look upon and worked redemption for his people, and has raised up a horn of deliverance for us in the house of his servant David. As he spoke by the mouth of his set-apart prophets from of old, deliverance from our enemies and from the hand of all those hating us, to show compassion toward our fathers and to remember his set-apart covenant, an oath which he swore to our father Abraham to give to us, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, to serve him without fear, in set-apartness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called prophet of the Most High, for you shall go before the face of Yah to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of deliverance to his people by the forgiveness of their sins, through the tender compassion of our Elohim, with which the daybreak from on high has looked upon us, to give light to those who sit in darkness in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, and was in the deserts until the day of showing himself openly to Israel.